What's the longest word ever spoken on the YouTube channel? Veritasium. Oh, I know this one. I saw your short about it. It's oversimplification. Actually, I was wrong. <gasps> like Neil deGrasse Tyson was? Uh, well, yes. I had a bug in my code that didn't collect all of Veritasium's words. I fixed it and he actually has two longest words. What are they? One is dichlorodifluoromethane, I think. Dichlorodifluoromethane. And the other is polytetrafluoroethylene. Polytetrafluoroethylene. Chemists are terrible at naming things. But what I really want to do is look at Veritasium's most common words, which is actually more difficult than you might think. Why is that? Well, that requires a more detailed explanation. In this video, we'll look at Veritasium's speaking rate, difficulty of words, most common words and phrases, and I'll even use an AI to find out which of his videos is most positive and which is most negative. But enough talk, more data! It's data time! I'm data. In 2010, Derek Muller started the YouTube channel Veritasium, an element of truth. Veritasium is a channel containing educational videos about various science and engineering topics. It largely caters to an academically minded audience, which is probably why you're here. In total, I was able to download the transcripts from over 400 of his videos, totaling nearly 80 hours of watch time. This is over 780,000 words spoken, with a lexicon of over 18,000 unique words spoken. However, the distribution of these words over the past 15 years has not been consistent. In his early years, Derek was posting 70 videos a year, but that quickly dropped to an average of around 25 videos per year. This might seem like a drop in content, but if we look at his total hours of content created per year, we see that he is creating far more content today compared to 15 years ago. He used to make around two to three hours of content per year, but in 2024, he made over 12 hours of content. So he's making fewer videos that are longer? Right. What an element of truth. Are you gonna keep referencing his tagline? What we can also look at is his speaking rate over time. In 2011, his average speaking rate was about 150 words per minute. Then his speaking rate increased to over 170 words per minute, and then started to come back down again in recent years. However, what is perhaps more interesting is his consistency in his speaking speed. If I take the standard deviation of his speaking rate for all of his videos in a given year, we see that it has been steadily decreasing over time. What is that? It means that in his early years, some videos had faster speaking while others had slower speaking or just less overall talking. Conversely, his videos today are more or less consistent in their pacing. This is pretty typical of channels. When they first start off, they are posting all sorts of different content. Eventually, they find their rhythm and stick to a more consistent format. Can we tell if his speaking style has changed over the years? That's a bit more difficult to do, but we can analyze a few things. First off, we can see how difficult his vocabulary is. How do you measure that? I have a Python library that contains a list of 3,000 words it thinks are the easiest words in the English language. I just provide each word spoken on the channel and it tells me if it's in the list or not. From this, I can see that about 17% of Derek's words are considered difficult. Eh, that sounds low. That's just how the English language works. We form sentences with lots of the same small words. For example, only about 14% of the words spoken on this channel are considered difficult. Only 14% of my words are difficult? I'm probably the one saying most of those words. Oh, what an element of truth. But what's really interesting is how this has changed for Derek over time. When he started his channel, only about 13% of his words were difficult. Over time, that has increased to about 19%. So Derek uses more difficult words today compared to back then. Exactly. Do you like this type of analytical content? You're still watching this video. If you like this video, please like this video and subscribe. And if you really wanna support this channel, join my Patreon account. Then you'll be able to get your name in the credits. And finally, if you wanna find out what I'm working on next, join my newsletter. So none of this is AI. You said you were gonna use AI to analyze Veritasium. Right. So another examination we can do is sentiment analysis. What's that? That's where a piece of text is evaluated based on how positive or negative it is. Ugh, how do you do that? I found that ChatGPT is surprisingly good at analyzing text and rating how positive or negative it is. If we plot Derek's overall positivity and negativity over time, we see that Veritasium's content is pretty consistently positive and not very negative. 
What's his most negative video? It's a short he made about a telescope. Congress is about to make a huge mistake. Chandra is the world's most powerful telescope for detecting x-rays. But NASA just released their 2025 budget, and Chandra's funding has been cut 40%. If Congress approves this budget, layoffs could start this summer, with the telescope shutting down shortly after that. Losing Chandra would be what scientists are calling an extinction-level event for x-ray astronomy. That doesn't sound very negative. Well, shorts usually tend to get ranked as more positive or more negative. Because they have fewer words to average things out, they tend to swing more to the extremes. What's his most positive video? Derek has several very positive videos, and interestingly, they tend to be songs that he sings about science? Four, five, six, bolt up, potential difference makes electrons go round if the circuit is complete and sound. The elements are all the different types of atoms. Who experiments help us find the best one? What an interesting element of truth. It was a different time. What's Derek's most common word? Okay, so this is a thing everyone asks me about. His most common word is the same as my most common word. Really? What is it? The. Oh. Followed by two, then and. No, 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 I mean like real words. Right. So, it's always a struggle to figure out how to define meaningful common words. Someone suggested I use term frequency inverse document frequency. What? That's where you take the frequency of the words spoken by the speaker and compare them to the frequency of those words spoken by other speakers. So, if Derek says a word frequently that no other speaker uses, then it's ranked higher. Conversely, if he says a word like the, which everybody uses, then it scores lower. Who do you compare against? Every other YouTuber. Everyone? Everyone! Well, okay, not everyone. I've been downloading transcripts from YouTube channels for some time now, and I've started to build a sizable database of these words. So I can compare Derek's words to everyone else's in order to see which of his words are his most uniquely common words, or top words. If we look at these top words, we can see a lot of names of people and sponsors. If we exclude those words, we see that his fifth top word is ions. His next top word is thermite, followed by primes, then electrons, and finally, his top word is aerogel. This is aerogel. Aerogels. Aerogel. 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 I love aerogels. Wait, but he doesn't say aerogel that often on his channel. He said it 85 times. Yeah, but he only said it in five of his videos. That's right. He made one video where he said it a lot and a few other videos where he references it. That's not a top word. You're saying you can make one video where you use the same word over and over again and then never say it again and it still becomes a top word for your channel? Well, yeah, essentially. A top word should be a word spoken repeatedly across the entire channel. Okay, fine. What if I change the definition of term frequency? What if instead of counting the number of times a word is spoken, we count the number of videos in which a word is spoken? If we redefine frequency in this way, we find a lot more top words that are related to sponsorships or ads. If we exclude those words, we see Veritasium's sixth top word is amplitude, followed by particles, then nanoscale, then electrons again, then WANA, which is a unique choice made by the Veritasium transcription team. And finally, his top word is atoms. So it's a different list, but with similar science themes. And in both lists, electrons shows up as one of the top words. Maybe this is the winner for Derek's top word. But what's more interesting is that I'm able to use this process not only on words, but also on phrases. I can go through all words spoken on Derek's channel and group them into phrases. For simplicity, I limit the phrases between two and 20 words. From these phrases, I can build a table of all phrases spoken on Veritasium's channel along with their frequency. Then I perform the same process on every other channel's data and build the same table for them. Then I compare the frequency of Veritasium's phrases to everyone else's in order to calculate his most common phrases that are unique to his channel. This took a considerable amount of computing time to iterate over all of the different permutations of words. And when it was complete, I got a lot of results that were not very meaningful. Many of the results I got were similar variations of the same phrase. There are a lot of instances of Derek thanking his audience, thanking his sponsors, talking about sponsors and things of that nature. If we exclude all of these, we are left with some interesting phrases like perfect numbers, Planck's constant, shade balls, jumping spiders, least action, gallium nitrate, natural rubber, and negative ions. <gasps> what about an element of truth? What? Veritasium means an element of truth. Surely his tagline is one of his top phrases. It isn't. Doesn't he say it a lot? No. In fact, I couldn't find any instances of that phrase anywhere on his channel. What? I don't think Derek has ever actually said that phrase on his channel. No. I could be wrong. 
Maybe there's another bug in my code or maybe the transcription process is faulty, but I was not able to find that phrase anywhere. If you know of a video where Derek verbally says his channel's tagline, comment below with the title of that video. Then all of you can help us find an element of truth.